There are several well-known theorems in functional analysis known as the Riesz representation theorem. They are named in honor of Frigyes Riesz. This article will describe his theorem concerning the dual of a Hilbert space, which is sometimes called the Frechet Riesz theorem. For the theorems relating linear functionals to measures, see Riesz Markov Kakutani representation theorem. The Hilbert space representation theorem This theorem establishes an important connection between a Hilbert space and its continuous dual space. If the underlying field is the real numbers, the two are isometrically isomorphic, if the underlying field is the complex numbers, the two are isometrically anti-isomorphic. The anti isomorphism is a particular natural one as will be described next, a natural isomorphism. Let H be a Hilbert space, and let H** denote its dual space, consisting of all continuous linear functionals from H into the field R R or C C if X Display style x is an element of H. Then the function phi x display style varphi underscore x for all y display style y in H defined by phi x y equals y x Display style varphi underscore x y equals left langle y x right wrangle where display style langle c d o t c d o t wrangle denotes the inner product of the Hilbert space is an element of H asterisk. The Riesz representation theorem states that every element of H asterisk can be written uniquely in this form. Given any continuous linear functional g in H asterisk, the corresponding element x g element of H display style x underscore g in H can be constructed uniquely by x g equals g e one e one plus g e 2 e 2 plus display style x underscore g equals g e underscore 1 e underscore 1 plus g e underscore 2 e underscore 2 plus where e i display style e underscore i is an orthonormal basis of H, and the value of x g display style x underscore g does not vary by choice of basis. Thus, if y element of H y equals a one e one plus Two e two plus display style y in H y equals a underscore one e underscore one plus a underscore two e underscore two plus then g y equals a one g e one plus Two G E two plus equals X G Y Display style G Y equals a underscore one G E underscore one plus A underscore two G E underscore two plus equals Langle X underscore G Y Wrangle Theorem The mapping Phi display style phi h h asterisk defined by phi x display style phi x equals 
phi x display style var phi underscore x is an isometric anti isomorphism, meaning that phi display style phi is bijective. The norms of x display style x and phi x display style var phi underscore x agree x equals phi x display style vert x vert equals vert phi x vert phi display style phi is additive phi x 1 plus x 2 equals phi x 1 plus phi x 2 display style phi x underscore 1 plus x underscore 2 equals phi x underscore 1 plus phi x underscore 2 if the base field is r display style math b r then phi lambda x equals lambda phi x display style phi lambda x equals lambda phi x for all real numbers lambda if the base field is c display style math b c then phi lambda x equals lambda phi x display style phi lambda x equals bar lambda phi x for all complex numbers lambda where lambda display style bar lambda denotes the complex conjugation of lambda display style lambda the inverse map of phi display style phi can be described as follows given a non zero element phi display style var phi of h asterisk the orthogonal complement of the kernel of phi display style var phi is a one dimensional subspace of h take a non zero element z in that subspace and set x equals phi z Z Z two display style x equals overline var phi z c d o t z left vert z right vert caret two. Then phi x display style phi x equals phi display style var phi. Historically, the theorem is often attributed simultaneously to Rees and Fréchet in 1907 see references. In the mathematical treatment of quantum mechanics, the theorem can be seen as a justification for the popular bra-ket notation. The theorem says that, every bra psi has a corresponding ket psi and the latter is unique. 